Hello. In this video, I'm going to be discussing how to cut a 2x4 properly with a handsaw. So your cut is nice and straight, and when you put the pieces together, they're, they're going to look good when you put together. You have a nice tight seam. So we marked it. The last video, I told you how to mark the wood. So these are nice straight marks here, so we're going to go with those. And I'm going to use one of these saws, similar to the type I gave you in the box. This is called a crosscut saw. If you look down the blade, just look down the blade, you'll see the teeth kind of go back and forth like that, and that means cross. It's for cross cutting wood. This would be a rip cut, the long ways of wood. Cutting the short way like this is called a cross cut. Now here's how you do it. When you start, you just don't start making big strokes with the, with the saw. What you want to do, put your hand, the hand that you're not, I'm left-handed, so my right hand is going to be on the piece of wood that's going to stay. The left piece, the left side is going to fall. Keep it there. If you're right-handed, you're going to do the opposite. You're going to have to get on the other side if you're right-handed. Here's how we go. So what I do is, I get on there, and I make a little notch. Like that. To make sure my blade's gonna stay when I start. Now I can start going back and forth. And I'm always paying attention to my pencil line. Which means, pan out a little bit. If I'm over here and my blade's not straight, that blade's gonna start cutting that way. Or if I'm over here too far, the blade's gonna start cutting the other way. If I'm straight, but I start twisting the blade, the blade's gonna start twisting and not make a straight cut. So you have to pay attention when you're cutting that your blade is straight up and down. And every once in a while, check the wood, the pencil mark, make sure you're doing it. Okay, so here we go. So I got my notch. Every once in a while, blow away the sawdust. Check your lines, make sure your blade's on your lines. As you can see, I went right over the pencil mark with my saw on the side and on top. Now I just have to pay attention to make sure that I stick because I can see I'm kind of going a little bit crooked over there, so I have to straighten that out coming down. Sometimes this wood is very wet, so. Thing you're gonna do now I started going a little crooked here as I could, as you see so try not to do that I got to straighten out a little bit and the last thing you want to do is cut through the last cut as hard as you can so you don't leave any little edge piece on the edge of the wood. So here we go. You try and straighten this out a little bit cut through it like that so that's pretty good. See the pencil mark there a little bit? Went a little crooked, but that'll be good enough. Like that. Come over here, check it out. That was the finish end. That came from the factory. This is my end right here. Pretty straight. If I wanted to, I could take my hammer and flatten down that little piece a little bit that's still sticking out where the blade went through the last. Now that's pretty straight right there, like that. And that's how you do the cutting.